Hey, I'm Amy, head of customer experience at Podcastle. Let's start with the basics, how to record your first podcast. Firing up Podcastle to record your podcast is a piece of cake. Just head over to the Create tab and click Project. Once your project is set up, you'll see a recording menu in the center. If you're flying solo, click on Record Audio and make sure your microphone and any other recording equipment are plugged in for the best sound quality. Podcastle even lets you stop and resume recording as needed, so don't worry about getting everything perfect in one take. By the way, if you want to start a podcast and learn the best way to set up a makeshift recording studio, like mine, hit the subscribe bell because you don't want to miss our next video. Now, if you're planning a multi-person podcast, you can also choose recording from the create menu. As you set up the studio, you'll have the option to indicate your display name and select if you want to record audio or include video as well. Don't forget to indicate whether or not you're using headphones. We typically recommend that you do. And before entering the studio, you can copy the studio link to send to your participants. Once you're in the studio, double check that your microphone, camera, if you're using it, and speakers are all hooked up and ready to go. You can also copy the invite link here and share it with your guests. Once everyone's in the studio and ready to roll, hit the record button. Don't worry, you'll receive a five second countdown before the recording begins to take care of any last minute primping. When you're ready to stop recording, click the red stop button and confirm your selection. Make sure your recording upload reaches 100% before closing the browser. Once the upload has finished, you can click edit to immediately start the editing process or leave the studio if you just wanna edit later on. Want to play around with the sound? Lucky for you, Podcastle has an edit function that'll let you tweak your recordings. I'll show you this in a little bit. If you've recorded with video, there's a download all button on the right hand side so you can grab the original files for any safekeeping. And if for some reason a participant's recording doesn't upload completely, we'll send you a recovery link to get things back on track. Now, if you're on the go or you just prefer to record things on your phone, it's simple to use the Podcastle mobile app and record anywhere, anytime. First things first, download the app from the App Store. For now, it's iPhone only. Once you're logged in and ready to roll, look for the big plus sign at the bottom of the main page. Similar to the desktop version, you'll give your recording a title, pick between audio and video, and even schedule a recording if you are on top of things and a step ahead of the game. Before entering the studio, make sure your mic and camera, if you're recording video, are all good to go. Recording with a friend? You can still share the podcast a link with them to get them in the studio and then choose a layout to get started. Tap continue and click the red record button to start capturing your episode. Just like the desktop version, you'll receive a five second countdown before the recording begins. When you're finished recording, wait until the upload has reached 100% before leaving the studio. And of course, if something unexpected happens and you have to close the app before it finishes, just reopen it and let it complete the upload process. All your recordings are safely tucked away in the library under recordings. If you want to revisit it, tap the three dots next to the recording and choose create a project. Head over to the projects tab and click on the one you want to listen to. Ready to use the editing tools? Hop on over to the Podcastle desktop version and log into your account. Okay, so it's time to polish that recording into an absolute masterpiece using some quick and easy editing tools. Need a smooth intro or outro? No problem. If you have a signature music track, you can upload your own tunes. Click the insert button and upload your own file or head over to my files and select upload audio to add your personal touch. Once the file has been uploaded, you can hover and click add to track. Feeling uninspired? Podcast offers a huge library of over 7,000 royalty-free music tracks. You can browse by genre, mood, or instrument to find that perfect fit. And don't forget to stay tuned for the next section because we're going to explore all of Podcastle's AI editing tools. Now let's talk clip merging, which lets you effortlessly combine multiple segments into one for seamless transitions. To do so, simply select the clips and click merge on the toolbar. Is background noise distracting your listeners? Isolate a specific track to focus on that speaker. Just select the track and click the isolate track button. Need to remove unwanted sections or shorten a clip? This is where trimming comes in. Drag the edges of the clip to easily adjust the clip length. To split a clip, right click and choose split from the menu. Or you can select split from the select menu. 
Now, if you're looking for more control over the volume, Pod lets you mute and unmute entire tracks or individual clips. To mute the whole track, click the volume button under the track's name. For specific clips, right click and select mute clip. Need to adjust the pacing? Change the speed of the recording by selecting the track and choosing show options. Here, you can adjust the volume, amplifier, and pan by moving the toggle button. Got some silent spaces between clips? The magnet feature is your new best friend. Select multiple clips followed by the magnet button to remove those gaps with a single click, smoothing the flow. Feeling fancy? Fade your clips in and out for professional sounding transitions. Click on the clip you want to adjust and drag the corners to create a gradual fade. This is just a taste of our audio editing tools. The true power of PodCastle is in the AI audio features. Also, if you're planning a video podcast, it's quite different than an audio podcast. We'll have an upcoming video going over everything it takes to put together a video podcast, so don't forget to subscribe. Now say you've poured your heart and soul into creating this amazing podcast, but for some reason, background noise is stealing the show. With the right click and a sprinkle of magic dust, PodCastle's AI can eliminate background noise, making your voice crystal clear and completely polished. And it doesn't just remove distractions, it also applies an audio equalization for a more refined sound, kind of like a post-production spa treatment for your voice. For individual clips, simply right click and choose Magic Dust AI. For multiple clips, simply select them all and click Magic Dust AI from your bottom toolbar. And keep in mind, while Magic Dust works wonders on voice recordings, it isn't recommended for clips that include music in them. Okay, let's talk efficiency. Have you ever spent hours painstakingly transcribing audio? PodCastle's audio to text converter delivers your transcriptions in seconds, freeing you up to focus on creating amazing content. All you need to do is select your audio file, right click on the track and choose transcribe. Indicate the number of speakers and the language chosen. You can also select to detect filler words, which is an awesome tool that helps you get rid of those ums, those uhs that can creep into any recording. Once the transcription has generated, the text editor will pop up with the transcription, highlighting the filler words. Simply delete the filler words from the text and it will automatically update the recording. And if you want to download your transcription for safekeeping, click export transcription to download your text as a docx or PDF. Silence removal is another powerful tool that helps clean up your audio tracks super quickly. With one click, this feature eliminates long pauses from your projects, saving you valuable editing time. To use it, simply select the clip you want to edit, right click and choose silence removal. Finally, let's explore the power of Revoice. With Revoice, you can create intros, outros, or even entire segments using your own voice without recording a single word. Creating your digital voice, super straightforward. Just head over to My Digital Voices and select Create Voice. PodCastle will guide you through a simple recording process where you'll read 70 sentences to create a vocal profile. Within 24 hours, your very own digital voice will be ready to use. To generate audio with your voice, click on the Revoice button and select Convert Text to Speech. Type or paste your desired text and hit Generate to hear your digital voice come to life. Your new voice skin will be available anytime you need to edit a recording or generate new audio using text. These are just a few of the amazing AI features available in PodCastle's Pro Plan starting at $23.99 a month. With PodCastle's AI magic, you can take your audio editing to the next level and focus on what matters most, creating amazing content. You've poured your heart and soul into crafting the perfect podcast episode, and now it's time to show it off. Of course, PodCastle has tools for that. Once you're done editing, head over to My Shows to create your show. First, name your show and add a description. Keep in mind that this will be shown to any listener who accesses your page on PodCastle and any other podcast player where you choose to publish. So you'll want to make sure it grabs their attention. Next, categorize the show by selecting a few categories from the list. 
These categories are standard across the podcast industry. This will ensure that your show pops up when listeners search for relevant content in respective categories. Last step is to add your cover art. We recommend a square image between 1400 and 1400 and 3000 and 3000 pixels. Now it's time to add your first episode. Select your show and click add episode. First, you'll add all the details like the title and the episode description. You can add your episode by uploading what you've already recorded or creating a new project. And don't forget the episode artwork. You could choose something unique for each specific episode or you can stick with your show's overall branding. Add in your relevant culinary tags and finalize the publishing details. If you're feeling strategic, you can schedule your episode to publish at a specific time, or you can just hit publish right away. Once you click finish, your episode will be live on Podcastle's platform. Listeners can tune in directly through Podcastle's player available on your show's page. This player even lets you turn on transcriptions, making your episode even more accessible. Here's where the RSS feed comes in. The RSS feed is kind of like a digital roadmap that tells streaming platforms where to find your podcast. The good news is that Podcastle provides you with a unique RSS link for your show in the hosting hub, which is your one-stop shop for getting your podcast out to the masses. This tool lets you host and publish your show all across the major networks like Apple Podcasts or Spotify. To get your podcast on your favorite streaming platforms, grab the RSS link and head over to the platform's website. Most platforms have a section for submitting podcasts where you can just paste your RSS link and follow their instructions. Once you've submitted your link, Podcastle will do all the heavy lifting. Every new episode you publish will be automatically added to your RSS feed and will show up on those streaming platforms. Podcastle's hosting and publishing features will help your listeners find your podcast in no time, no matter where they are in the world. This is your chance to make your voice heard. And we can't wait to see what you create. Head over to podcastle.ai and turn your passion into a reality. You can save up to 50% on your first month subscription by using promo code PODTUBE50 at checkout. And if you ever have any questions, just reach out to our support team by emailing support at podcastle.ai. Thanks for watching and see you next time.